Hey guys, I uh, wanted to do another video of some um, slip joints that I recently purchased. Uh, this one you guys have seen before. Um, this one's just kind of a comparison. Uh, this is the old Schrade Custom. Um, Five dollar night. So, uh, excellent, excellent little slip joint. Very pleased with my purchase. You can find these on eBay all day, every day, for anywhere in between a dollar up to ten bucks depending upon who you're getting them from um, and then the shippings you know can vary um, <clears throat> but just a just kind of a standard of uh, a good very cheap well-made um, slip joint so as you can see the insides are fairly polished decent good materials were made on the handles um, the mother of pearl is definitely a decent mother of pearl not cheap by any means um, there are a couple of brown ones in there but still fairly decent uh, blade snaps are excellent um, the blades have not been scratched in any way by closing so they're centered nicely on both of them um, so definitely a decent little little knife made in China so that's that one I'll, also they take a razor's edge uh, they do go dull pretty fast but sharpen very easily um, now these uh, I purchased off of a or from a company on eBay called Cantonsville um, very very cheap toothpicks uh, this one I was very displeased with uh, still you know somewhat pretty to look at but um, not sure of the handle material and as you guys can see that you can look straight through it see the pins everything um, very well polished so there's the camera um, on both sides so polishing is good uh, the, the finish on it is very cheap so I mean you can tell where the bone meets up uh, this actually is not too bad right there, but up in here it's terrible. That side is terrible. Uh, all the rest of the work's not bad. Um, snap on it's decent. Uh, this one I got from the same company. Um, supposedly these are all handmade, and but this one the finish is definitely done a lot better. It's actual bone, if you guys can tell, but. It's actual bone. It's not great bone, but definitely decent. Um, this one's got good spring tension to it. Uh, these were said that they're made here in the U.S., um, so not quite sure whether or not to believe that or not, but who knows. Um, so definitely good snap. I think this one cost me nine dollars plus shipping. Um, this was. This was actually purchased a long time ago. Uh, this one I think I got for like three bucks plus shipping. Um, two totally different blade designs as well as um, the actual design of the handle. You can tell the differences in the bottom plates right there. Um, thickness as well as top bolsters and the blade style is just ever so slightly different even though they're both toothpicks they're both designed ever so slightly differently um, let's see here this one I got for 99 cents shipped and stag handles the picture basically looked almost blurred out like that but um, this has got to be the I mean I, I received those other knives that were you know, at least somewhat fixable in my bad eBay purchases before. But I mean, look at this. Look at this blade. This is the absolute demise of poor workmanship, period. So, um, there is the Tang stamp. And it says Pakistan. Uh, I don't even know what the bolsters are made out of. Um, this is bone. It's not stag that 
by any means that I know of. If it is stag, then it's terrible stag. Um, parts that I think I like the most is, let's see here, which one was it? Yeah, I think it's this one. This one's supposed to go on the outside of that blade. So, when it closes, uh, it actually did it that time. Okay, so, it did it correctly. Now, the nail nicks are almost impossible to get in. Oh, see, there it goes. So, once again, this blade is supposed to be out here. This one's supposed to be on the inside. Yet, it closes over the other blade. So, that just kind of cracked me up. Um, just kind of a, this, I, I don't know why I bought it. I really don't. I knew it was going to be crap. But at the same time, I decided to buy it anyways. Um, just kind of, you know, who can argue a buck shipped. <clears throat> the guy actually paid more in the shipping to have it shipped to me than I paid him for the actual physical knife. Because it was up for 99 cents and free shipping, and that's all he got was 99 cents. Um, this, this one was listed as a Boker. Um... Boker Frontier. A uh, very cheap knife, um, very poor brack spring, but the blades are in good shape. Uh, the secondary, the pen blade, that's not quite a pen blade, but um, it's got a decent spring to it, so it's not bad. I think I paid $5 plus the shipping on this one. I think I had like a two dollars and thirty seven cents shipping on it so not too bad um, the bolsters are actual metal so they're not caps um, this is actual bone it feels like bone everything so this these knives were made I believe in the 70s might have been the 80s um, it's called the Frontier and it was made by Imperial, I can find it, there we go, Imperial USA, so, um, Imperial is technically a, I believe it was, um, Irish company, but I think they, that the US ended up purchasing it, and that's why it's got that Frontier, um, shield right there, I'm not quite sure, I haven't done any research on it, but, not a bad little knife for what I paid for it. Um, this right here is called the Rough Rider. Uh, I decided to purchase these after watching um, Cutlery Lover's video. Uh, after he pit purchased one of the Rough Rider, um, I believe he was getting one of these guys right here, the toothpicks. But um, not a bad little knife. I mean the. It's got uh, abalone inside of here, so it's not bad. It looks fake um, in certain areas, like right up here and whatnot. But generally, abalone is a shell that is covered with some sort of uh, clear epoxy um, type filler to cover up the actual shell so that it shines through. But still a pretty little knife. Um, everything is polished very nicely should I say Let's see here. it's got 440 razor sharp steel it's not quite razor sharp it's sharp enough to cut paper um, but all in all I'm not dissatisfied with my purchase because I got this I think for I think it was three dollars shipped three or four bucks shipped so Got a de decent price. It cost me 99 cents plus the shipping. I can't remember what the shipping was. I think it was three dollars, but um, decent uh, lock up. So if this will focus. So there's a little bit of difference in the finish right there. So you know, still not bad. Fairly, you know, satisfied with it. If it'll focus. So you can get a decent knife for a cheap price. It's it is pretty. It will add a lot of uh, you know style to your collection that you don't necessarily have to pay a high price on. 
Um, this one's a Rough Rider as well. I just wanted to actually buy one. The Bulldog type knives. These are Case came out with a knife called Bulldog. Um, I'm not sure if it was actual Case, but uh, a lot of knife companies started coming out with uh, these things called Bulldog blades. Um, it's just a huge hunter type blade style, Skinner style. Um, but this one's got decent, decent finish to it. Uh, there is one downfall to it being such a big blade. The fact that it's got these uh, brass liners that are super thin. Um, I could technically probably snap this in half. I'm not going to try it, but there is the possibility. I mean, you guys can see that, so hopefully you guys can see that where I start to bend it and it separates. So cheaper material. Um, this one's kind of like a tortoise shell uh, type finish. It's not real tortoise shell. Um, it's got its shield right there. Decent quality. Um, it's got good snap to it. So it's got good lockup. Good strong lockup. I mean, it's not really going anywhere by me forcing it with my thumb. And don't worry, I'm not going to cut my finger off again. So uh, <clears throat> not bad. I'm quite satisfied with it uh, you know for some cheap knives um, not too bad you know I probably spent maybe 35 bucks on all of these uh, shipped so not too bad um, I'm not happy with this one uh, though it does add a little bit to my collection so far very you know this one's a good one um, this one's pretty well made so, in comparison to one that's right next to it that was made by the same company that's kind of poor, uh, this is absolute crap. Um, so, <laughs> but it's it's actually comical because I get a smile on my face every time I look at it. So, it's definitely worth that that much, you know, to pay a dollar to be able to get a good grin on your face every time that you just look at your collection. So. Um, just some cheap slip joints that you guys can find on eBay. Uh, if you guys were to purchase any <clears throat> um, fairly cheaper ones, then you know these trade these trade little customs. They come in a nifty little box. It's a hard back box. If I could find it, I had it here a minute ago. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Okay, so comes in this little box. You know, pretty nifty. Um, so I think it was five bucks shipped. So you know you can find these things all day, every day. They're like thousands of them. Everybody sells them. So decent uh, fit and finish. If you guys want to uh, get a decent knife for very cheap price, I suggest going for the Schrade um, Customs. Um, they're decent. Uh, anything else as far as the rest of these guys? These little Rough Riders aren't bad. Um, you know, decent quality, uh, blade steel's fairly strong, um, it's not going to break on you, good solid lockup, and it's got an edge to it, so it does come sharp, so here, let's see here, if I can find a piece of paper here, that I can actually cut, that's not important, there we go, here's an envelope, and I'm running out of time, so, see, Razor sharp. Here's another Rough Rider. This one's not as quite as sharp because it's a little bit beefier of a blade, but that's not gonna work cutting on that. There we go. Still sharp, nice and sharp. It'll cut, but if you guys want something cheap just as kind of like a first slip joint just to test whether or not if you think you might like it go with one of these guys and you won't be dissatisfied so uh, hope you enjoyed the video and got a, another one coming right after it so have a good one guys